Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Twitter automation for print on demand. We're going to be talking about does it work, how does it work, how to set it up, etc. Now, I haven't made Twitter videos in a long time because, frankly, I just never got around to it. There's a lot of other things to talk about. But Twitter automation, just like Instagram automation, are both very viable ways to uh, make money through print-on-demand. In fact, I would say that for a beginner, Twitter automation is probably a little bit better than Instagram uh, just for as a beginner. You know, if you don't know anything about algorithms, uh, you know, setups and things like that, Twitter is really a great place to be. And I'll kind of explain why in just a minute. But um, I got a question where in the comments somebody was asking me, uh, do you use Twitter for print-on-demand uh, sales, for generating print-on-demand sales? And the answer is absolutely. You remember that any avenue that we use to gain traffic uh, and gain attention is a viable method. Now, something that I do want to say, which is very cool about Twitter as opposed to Instagram, and I actually should make a whole entire video about Instagram versus Twitter, but Twitter... The cool thing about it is the more followers you get, the more reach you have. Unfortunately, with Instagram, they've been just killing our, our organic growth year after year after year after year. I mean, they've just been absolutely slaughtering it. Twitter, there's actually some really good organic features to it, organic growth to it. Um, just the way the concept is where people do the retweeting and all that kind of stuff, it works out really, really well. And the thing with Twitter, though, more than Instagram, is you do have to be more consistent. So there are some nuances with Twitter versus Instagram. But t Twitter, you're going to have to be more consistent posting tweets. I would say uh, one tweet a day is, is okay. Uh, two tweets a day is good. And three tweets a day is great. Um, but the more consistent you are doing the tweets, the more attention you're going to get. Now, when I say, when I talk about the tweets and all that, it has to be accompanied with the automation. Now, speaking of automation, I'll, I'll do a full tutorial showing you guys how to do the automation and all that, where to get the tool, how to set it up, etc. But that's not what I'm talking about right here. I'll talk about that in a few minutes. But with Twitter automation, guys, what I've learned, and this is really the critical point, um, is that with Twitter automation, and this is, I've been learning this over the past two years, like I said. With Twitter automation, guys, Twitter specifically, if you do not get the right audience, you're not going to get any followers. That's the thing about Twitter that really makes it different. And then when you get the right audience, when you do the right targeting, when you post the right content that speaks to your audience, now all of a sudden you're, you've hit golden jackpots, basically, because you're hitting the hive essentially right where it has to be. Now, that is the key differentiating factor between Instagram and Twitter when it comes down to automation. Now, what am I talking about when I say automation? I'll show you. So, imagine I want to grow my following. It's very simple. I'll just click on, uh, excuse me for a second. Sorry about that, but I'm back. Um, I, I basically, I'll just click on any profile that relates to the content that I'm posting, pull up the followers, pull up my tool here. And I'm going to follow the people that follow that specific account. Now, once again, this is the same concept or the same idea as Instagram. I'll just go ahead and hit follow here, and it will simply do the following. I'll move my mouse all the way to the left. By the way, I'll just show you guys some of the settings we have. We have here 30, uh, 50 follows rather, and a delay of 20 seconds to 40 seconds, right? So every 20 to 40 seconds, it will do one follow. But regardless, what I'm trying to say here is, and maybe I actually should speed it up for this video. So I'll actually go ahead and refresh this real quick. And let me go ahead and set my settings here at, let's say from five to 15 seconds, just for the video, not for like daily growth, but just for the video. Let's leave it at that speed. Let's hit follow users here. Now, the thing about Twitter, like I said, is that makes it different from Instagram is this audience right here, guys, has nothing to do with, with my um, audience at all, like zero. So I'm not going to get any attention from these guys. That's the thing that makes Twitter different, critically different from Instagram. With Instagram, guys, 
I can follow people from different audiences, and I'll still get some attention back. Yes, I won't get the best results, but I'll get something back. With Twitter, that's not the case at all. If you do not have the right content for the right audience, they just don't care. They're not going to care. They're not going to pay attention. They're not going to do any of that. They're not going to engage with you whatsoever. So that's the thing that makes Twitter different. Now, I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing because I think that's actually creates more of a of a false positive on Instagram, you know? If you're not engaging with the right audience, why would you want engagement back from them anyway? You wouldn't, right? Because you want to make sure you hit the right audience. But that's really the thing, guys, that, that differentiates the Twitter between the Instagram. Now that you guys are seeing how it works, this is the follow function, okay? It's valuable to follow on Twitter, But the thing is, and I'll just shut it off because now you guys see that it's working and it's all set up. But now now that you guys know how it works, it's very, very important to understand that you need to create a presence on Twitter. And what do I mean when I say a presence? Well, it goes a few different things. It's first the banners that you have, your bio, your profile picture, the content that you're posting, right? The sales content, the engagement type content, because there's two different forms of content, right? You have engagement type content, you have sales type content, right? You have to learn how to craft content for each scenario and each uh, position, right? Because each position is different. It's in, in business, you have the sales process and then you have the acquisition process. The acquisition and the sales process don't include the same messaging, right? You have to be able to master these things with Twitter. Um, Along with that, guys, with this whole entire process of Twitter automation, it really is Twitter automation is more heavily dependent on the information you put out there and what you uh, uh, basically show to the world. If you're showing to the world a different message to the audience that actually cares, they're simply not going to engage. That's just the most important thing. So how do I do the automation? I have a tool here. Uh, called the follow on follow like Twitter tool. Uh, you can go to uh, botsandapps.gumroad.com or you could just literally click the the affiliate link in the description box down below. And that will take you to this website. Now this website, botsandapps.gumroad, um, they have a bunch of Twitter tools. They have a follow on follow like, follow on follow uh, tool, uh, comment tool, like tool, uh, follow, unfollow, like, and comment. So you have literally here one, two, three, four, five different Twitter tools. Um, me personally, if you're on a budget and you're really just trying to get the most bang for your buck, I would go with the Twitter follow, unfollow, right? You don't need to get the like or the comment right away. But if you have the extra money and you want to really make sure you're growing your presence, then the the biggest one is the best deal because you're getting a discount, right? Because each tool from what I could see here, the comment is $9.99, the like is $9.99, the follow on follow is $19.99. You add that all up together, that I think that's like 40 bucks. But here you can get it for $35.99. So it really just comes down to what you want to use and what your budget is like. But like I said, if you want to see results with Twitter automation, it's very, very important to control your messaging to the proper audience. So you're going to have to tweak one or the other. You're either going to have to tweak the audience that you're targeting, or you're going to have to uh, tweak the content that you're posting to really skyrocket the results. And I had to unfortunately notice this the hard way because the first few days um, of doing Twitter automation, especially on this account, this is just a perfect example. Um, The first 200 people we followed, we didn't get any action back. The next 200 people, we gained about 50 followers. So you could see it right here. So you know, 50 followers out of 200, that's really not bad. It's 25%. So for every four follows, we get a follower back that's interested in what we have to offer that could is be a potential customer. Imagine you do that thousands and thousands and thousands of times over. That's amazing. And just to give you guys some uh, uh, information with Twitter, um, this stuff is very, very common on Twitter, you know, doing stuff like this. Um, just to give a, go ahead and show you, uh, this guy has 11,000 followers and he's following 2,703 people. Do you really think that 2,703 people are his friends? Absolutely not. It's a business account. In fact, this is an NFT account to sell related NFTs. Uh, this one too, you can actually tell which accounts are, are like that. This account here has 15,000 followers and is following 4,928. 
Now, you might be asking me, how come the followers, how many followers this person has, is less than or greater than the amount of following? Well, that's why the tool has a follow and unfollow process. So whenever you follow, 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 follow people, the more you follow, eventually you're going to do some unfollowing, right? To, to clear your list, as they would say. So you're going to go unfollow the people that never followed you, and you're going to go engage with different people, right? And once again, it's just all a matter of how creative you are as a person to find different targets and different things like that. Like, look at this account. This account, relatively new, 5,497 followers with 1,500 and 47 following so i'm not sure how how much you know how how engaging this person is but you can see here their last post was yesterday so it's not ideal right you want to post two or three times a day at least this is what i would do if i was in the crypto space selling nfts right but once again uh, let's see what this Loaded Lines account has. This Loaded Lines account is following 3,287 uh, people, and they have 33,000 followers. Uh, you, you know, the cool thing about Twitter is just it's so freeing of a platform where if you can do things right, you're going to see the results. There's, there's just no question about it. And uh, that's why I love Twitter automation. This account that I have here that you guys are seeing here publicly is not really the best account to show you how to do the sales process through Twitter. I could actually do more full-on tutorials with this. Um, but at the end of the day, um, it, it's a place to start, right? You got to start somewhere. I, I, I do want to do a tutorial, though, where I show how to create a Twitter sales page properly. Um, this is probably not the best example because we jumped around with different markets, different targets, things like that. But we're going to do a whole series on that, and, and that will be coming up soon. Obviously, we don't have certain things set in stone right now, guys, and I'm sorry about that. I'm a little scatterbrained. It's October 14th. This is literally my last month on doing the Redbubble daily uh, 60 uploads a day. Um, this is my very last month, and I've been training uh, my virtual assistants. Just been going through a lot of hectic things right now. And um, once I get all that taken care of and all that done, these the next two months ahead of us, we have uh, after October, we have November and December, is really just, you know, a calm down period, getting prepared for the new year and just getting some things set up. So we'll have the free time to create more videos around that kind of concept. But, you know, been really busy just working on different things. And um, as you guys know, with uh, uh, I think I, may I mentioned it in my last two videos or something like that, uh, with bots and apps, they have a, a franchise, a franchise business. And uh, I'm signing up for my third franchise business with them. And, uh, and, uh, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but, um, I'm just trying to wrap my head around how I'm going to promote them, how I'm going to get the things done and, you know, just, you know, how, how things are going to go. So, uh, it's just been a lot of work, a lot of things that I had to get done recently and, uh, you know, pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more tutorials with print on man and how to, you know, get it working like a full on Twitter plus Redbubble like video series, I got you guys. Uh, just a matter of time till we put all this stuff out there. We're also going to do some Shopify stuff. We're going to do some website building stuff. We're going to do a lot of different cool things to really uh, springboard us into the new year and, and really just build some more passive income businesses. I think a lot of the people watching this YouTube channel, um, Maybe maybe we don't hear from everybody, but I think a lot of people are making some sort of income from this channel, right? And that's the whole point. So thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye.